Your clock's about to strike noon in Heimdall, with the Chancellor set to take the stage for his national address. With the situation in Crossbell and the destruction of Gorelia Fortress still fresh in the national consciousness, the message he has today will undoubtedly shape the future of Erebonia and with it, our lives. Our reporter is joining us now, live from Dreykel's Plaza. Sounds like he's about to start. Oh, I hate this. I've got butterflies in my stomach. This is Misty, coming to you live from Heimdall. Huh? Why is Misty... Oh, it's the host from Aventine. At least that's a reassuring voice to hear at a time like this. How? Emma? What's wrong? The, the woman talking on the radio, she's... You all know her? Who, Misty? Of course. She hosts the radio show Aventine every Sunday night at 9. I've seen her out and about in Trista, too. She always looks so fashionable. Though, considering Aventime is broadcast by Radio Trista, it makes sense that's where she'd be. Huh? Do you know her or something? The Chancellor's standing at the podium, and it looks like he's about ready to begin. Let's hear what he has to say. Citizens of Heimdall, fellow countrymen, Erebonians far and wide, I thank you for your attention. I am Giliath Osborne, your Chancellor and the acting representative of the Imperial Government. We stand today in the face of an uncertain future. All of you, I'm sure, are aware of what has transpired in recent weeks. Crossbell, our erstwhile province, has defiantly declared its independence. And as its parting shot, frozen the assets entrusted to them by the hard-working men and women of Erebonia. As we have moved to safeguard our national interests, armed conflicts have broken out on our borders. Our enemies point to this as an example of Erebonian aggression, but nothing could be further from the truth. We acted in accordance with our duties as a colonial power. All we have done, we have done as is our sovereign right. The Imperial Hand may be firm, but it is fair. These traitors, however, have shown the world that they are neither. With an unknown weapon of mass destruction, they have annihilated Gorelia Fortress, the stronghold that has long protected the very gates of this country. I ask you, brothers and sisters of the Empire, do we allow such an odious act to go unpunished? Do we sit idle? as the pride and dignity of our great nation is spat upon and trampled underfoot? We cannot. We must not. And we will not. With blood and with iron, we shall meet out justice. Listen to him go. Oh, he's quite the orator, that's for sure. <laughs> well, he's certainly not out to upend my expectations. Nilium? What are you doing? Hmm. Nope, can't get through. No surprise there, I guess. Who are you trying to call? What is all this about? mission. The most important part, actually. If only I'd caught on a little sooner. But considering he managed to outwit Claire, Lecter, and even Gramps, I suppose Crows earned this victory. 
What? What does Crow have to do with this? Huh. So that's your angle. You came because you had a potential lead on C, and you couldn't look into it from the outside. Is that it? What? As in the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front? But he's dead, isn't he? The Intelligence Division looked at all of C's actions so far and drew up a list of potential suspects. And one possibility we couldn't dismiss was that he had ties to this academy somehow. But after C and his cronies got blown up aboard their airship in the mine, we thought it was a moot point. Looks like we spoke too soon, though. Oh, I can't believe how bad we screwed this up. Uh, are you seriously suggesting that it's Crow? That it's been him all along? Crow was with us in the mine right up until he went with the miners to escort them back to the surface, right? Yeah, and then his route back ended up blocked off by a cave-in, so he wasn't able to reach us until later. B but what if he actually used another route to get there ahead of us? Then fought us wearing that masked helmet and cape. Before making it look like he boarded the airship, then sneaking back around to join the others like nothing happened. Madness. No one would stake their entire plan on such a precarious stunt. Perhaps we can read the evidence that way, but there are a few leaps in logic that bother me. Besides, remember when the terrorists escaped from Gorelia Fortress? We heard C talking to us, and not just then. He was addressing us just before the airship exploded in the mine, too. That's true, on both counts. And Crow was with us the whole time during everything that went down in Gorelia. He never left our sight. Right. No mistaking it. My name is C, leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. The hammer of judgment shall fall again. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, there's no way he could be... He could have recorded a message in advance and played it back. Oh. And the airship that exploded? It could have been controlled remotely. His alibi seems airtight. But once you account for things like that, it starts looking pretty questionable. Yep. And if C's still alive, that means the other ringleaders probably are too. Then right now, Crow is... Oh no. He said he was headed to Dracos Plaza, didn't he? If a skilled sniper has their eye on you, you let your guard down for even a second and bang, you're dead. If he's the one who shot down the airship in the mine, then it's checkmate for the Chancellor. Crow's already won. We stand at the brink of nothing less than a national crisis. In such tumultuous times, we must set aside our differences. We must look past the ideologies that divide us. I will not deny the rift that has grown between the reformist and noble factions, especially in recent times. But how childish, how insignificant such squabbles seem when the enemy marshals its strength beyond our borders. I have met with His Majesty the Emperor and have secured permission to embark on the course we now must. Thus, in the name of the Emperor, and as the representative of the Imperial government, I hereby proclaim... Finish your speech in hell.
Well, that was anticlimactic. And there's our coup de gras. Now, just have to add the finishing touches. Hands in the air! It really was you all along. To think, all the time we spent searching for the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, and he was right under our noses. Crow Armbrust from the Jirai SEZ. Oh, and here I thought I'd managed to cover my tracks like a real pro. So, who put all the pieces together? I bet it was Arundel, wasn't it? We just received confirmation a short while ago. If you hadn't been so difficult to pin down, we would have had this investigation finished up already. How could you? How could you? You know, this really brings back the memories. It's a lot like when Jirai was annexed by the Empire eight years ago. You let your guard down, you lose. That's how your boss's favorite little game works, isn't it? Well, he lost. And now, he won't be playing any of his games again. Ever. Y you Get on the ground! I don't know how you managed to plan all of this, but you'll tell us eventually. I'll see to that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What? Festival. Wait, what's she talking about? Was... was she speaking directly to us just now? Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! What the...? Isn't that the plaza in Heimdall? This is one of the Azure Abyss's incantations, Phantasmagoria!
it ain't one of ours. It's time to avenge His Excellency. What are those things? Humanoid combat armors, courtesy of Reinford's 5th Development Division, staunch supporters of the Noble Alliance. Knights for the modern age, modeled after a stunning historical example and made of hardened steel from toe to crown. We call them the Panzer Soldats. But how did... Don't move! <laughs> Sorry, I don't take orders from you. Zephyr should be able to secure Valflame Palace just fine on their own. But I've got my own score to settle. No! What? <laughs> See ya, Icy Maiden. Give him an A for effort, but we're talking about the Imperial capital here. <laughs> Is that the best they could muster on their home turf? The hard part's still ahead. Most of the Imperial army's putting out fires across the country. But they'll be back soon enough now. And who knows? They might have some anti soldats countermeasures up their sleeves. <laughs> hey, anything can happen. Guess the ones to watch out for are the 3rd, 4th, and 7th Armored Divisions, huh? I wonder whose side our little princess will take. That's for Fee to decide. The boss will want it. Splendidly done, Grianos. I see you were able to share the sweetest notes of my aria with our little friends. I find myself reminded afresh of the brilliance with which you shine as the second anguish, Lady Vida Clotilde. Vast is the stage, and beauty is the performance of the Azure Abyss. <laughs> That's quite the compliment, considering your standards on beauty. Still, first the Burl, then Crossbell, and now here in Erebonia. Don't you think you're getting a little too greedy for your own good? Oh, your chastisement cuts deep. We'll be proceeding with the next step of the Phantasmal Blaze plan, I presume? Hmm. Yes, indeed. The bells are tolling for Crossbell, and preparations here are complete. Still, even this grand an undertaking is but a jewel in a greater crown. The second the symphony awaits us. Let the second movement commence.
Is this really happening? It is. I'm certain of it. Phantasmagoria is an arcane art known to the Witch of the Abyss, capable of showing scenes and visions across great distances. The woman you know as Misty is... something of a sister of mine. Wait, the Witch of the Abyss? Are you saying that's who Misty really is? I feel like any moment I'm going to wake up in my bed to find I just dreamt all this. If only it was. But we have no choice but to accept that it's real. Well, we'll have plenty of time to worry about that later. Right now, we've got two more pressing concerns. The Chancellor's been shot, and Heimdall's been occupied. Oh, no. I hope my father's all right. Damn. Please, let St. Astraea be safe. That gargantuan airship, those Panzer soldats. I have no doubts that they were bankrolled and manufactured by the noble faction. I saw them there. My old family. All this time, I never knew what happened to them. And how there they are. Fee. So you know those men? I remember meeting them briefly in the Grail. They're former members of Zephyr. Used to be one of the continent's strongest Jaeger corps. It looks like the noble faction hired them to do their dirty work. Just like the Imperial Liberation Front. On top of that... It looks like our guess about C's identity was right on the money. But I don't know what that cool blue thing was he flew off in. Crow, why did you do it? On behalf of the Student Council, I'd like to ask all of you to remain calm. I'm sure you all experienced that strange vision during the broadcast. And the principal has an announcement he'd like to make about it. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Principal Van Dyke speaking. I'm sorry to say there's a strong likelihood that what you just saw is really happening in Heimdall. However, it's important to note that we don't yet have confirmation or any official word on the situation. I'm doing all I can to find out what's going on, but in the meantime, I ask for your patience and understanding. So all the other classes saw it too. How could she use a national radio broadcast to show something to just us and no one else? Is that even possible? For her, it is. With little difficulty at that. Yo, Sarah here. Who's... Nightheart? An emergency meeting. Right away? What? Of course, I'll be right there. Yeah, understood. I'll meet you in front of the main gate. All right, class. I've got to step out for a bit to take care of some business. But no matter what happens, you are not to leave this building. Is that clear? What's going on? I'm not sure. But it's obvious something strange is happening. Can this day even get stranger than it already is? What's wrong, guys? I hear something to the west. And it's getting closer. Several armored cars are approaching. And... It sounds like they have some of those armored suits with them. You've got to be kidding. First Heimdall, now Trista? Are they planning on taking over the Academy? Hmm, sure looks that way. Notable members from both factions have kids enrolled here, and there are plenty of important people like the Principal. So either they're looking to preemptively protect their own or take the others hostage. Could be either, even both. This is absurd. Whatever their intentions, we can't allow them to harm innocent people. Do you think that's where the instructors went? To try and fight them off? Those giant armors tore through the army's tanks like they were nothing more than toys. Our instructors are strong, but with what they're up against, I'm worried they might not be enough. I'm not sure how much help we'd be, or if we'll even be able to put a dent in them. But right now, they need all the support they can get. They need Class 7. I'm with you. You have my sword. 
I didn't really wake up today planning to fight enemies that can gut a tank. None of us did. But this battle came to us, so we'll draw the line here. I'll do everything I can to defend this school and its students. Duh. I take no issue with humbling those that befoul the spirit of true nobility. Yes, I'll help too. <laughs> I wonder how Lamy will match up against those giants. We haven't got a lot of time, so let's move out. All right, let's do this. What in Adios's name is going on here? I saw the instructors leaving the academy through the front gate. Oh, they already left? Patrick, you have to stay here. You can't let them take over this building. Work with the other students as best you can. Swarza? What are they? going on? I... I heard a war start in Heimdall. Don't worry, everyone. You'll be safe here. We'll show you to the auditorium. We can bunker down there. Toa! George! What are you doing here? Y you aren't... You're not planning on going to help the instructors, are you? That's exactly what we're planning. I'd bring shame to the Arsaid name if I were to willingly allow such insolence and dishonor to fester. We're not gonna push our luck, but we want to give them every little bit of support we can. Y you can't be serious. If that video's anything to go by, you'd be going up against some seriously dangerous weapons. The chances of you overcoming a force like that is... Well, I don't even want to say. Are you really sure this is what you want to do? We are. This academy has given us a lot. We've made friends here. Learned to better ourselves. And we'll be damned if we're going to let them just take that away! You guys... Oh boy. The instructors told me not to let you past if you tried to come through here. Alright. As student council president, I hereby grant you permission to head through. But don't forget, you're still students. This may be a military academy, but that doesn't mean you're soldiers. If you ever feel like your lives are in danger, even a little bit, you get out of there, okay? Run away. Surrender. I, I don't care what you do, just please, please don't die out there. Promise me. Of course. We promise. At least make sure you've got everything you need before you go, then. I've got my tools on me, so if you guys need any last-minute modifications to your Arcus units, I'll take care of it. Okay, here we go. Final battle. So, let's get ready. First up, Emma. B. Gaius. With support from Elliot, Laura... And useless. <clears throat> These are my guys. These are what's gonna fuck up. Anything that comes near the school. Look at these three goobers just standing there. Like, oh no, what are we gonna do? You're gonna do fucking nothing. Anyway, right. First things first. Don't r <laughs> run away from the school. Now, nah, we need to get to the second floor. Because... Uh, for the last installments of, um, oh wait, no, hold on. Yeah, no, I was just checking on them too. Uh, yeah, what we need to do is we need to <coughs> find, where are they? Where are they? Uh-huh. The last two entries in our, uh, character profiles. See? They are... She... They are nice and keeping on top of each other. It's great. Um, so yeah, as I said to you before, we weren't able to get everyone. 
just purely due to constraints with um, the bonding events. We, we, we weren't able to get Machias' full profile, for example. Um, but we managed to get uh, Crows, so that's nice. Uh, managed to get everyone in class 1 and 2s. I should get... I think we got everyone in class of 3.5. So we got the whole of the first year. Second year, we got everyone. We got everyone. We didn't get Dorothy. That's the only person we didn't do. Um, so we need to... F so we could have done that. Well, we didn't get a chance to do that. And we got everybody apart from Sharon. But again, that was... Um, oh, that's to do the bonding event that I didn't do. So don't worry about that. So we managed to get everyone apart from three, but we can we can do that next next time. Got the recipes all done. Got all the fishies. All the books. We I mean you can read all these books if you want, but I'm not gonna. Cause there's like 30 pages. I mean that what that one said 37. 31, 17, sorry. And just some other stuff. Um, yeah, so like that's like a hot, it's like a couple hundred pages that you can read if you want to. I'm not gonna. <clears throat> and yep, yeah. as you can see here, 440 AP, the max you can get. Rank A0. Ah ha ha. The the quest. Got everything. Did everything. It's awesome. And battle after battle. Uh, as I said to you, we weren't able to get some of them just purely because we didn't have um, scanning abilities capable at that point. We fucked up on Machias and Usus, but that we've got everyone else though. Um, and we didn't get the Igloo Garmer, uh, their unbalanced efficacy, or the flying feline. But again, that's just purely because we didn't have the means to do so. Uh, right, okay, so this point, what we're going to do is um, extra. Shining Pomp. Oh, we didn't get the... the uh, uh, we forgot to do the other Shining Pomp. Huh. No, it's fine. It's fine. We can do it next, next time. So, yeah. Um... <clears throat> Now that we've done that, we can get ourselves ready for the final climactic battle. And the only way we can do that is to cheese it. Megaliths all round. That's one. Three vermilion again. What, 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 what? And just let everyone heal up for that. <coughs> And then we can go into the final battle. This is actually one of the one of the harder fights because not only do you have to survive it, you have to. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see here. What can I equip you with? Hmm. I feel like that actually looks pretty good. Um, but let's give you, let's give you criminal because it's ninety percent chance of crits and a hell of a lot of fire um, arts, and we've got all the other stuff as well, which is good. Let's actually change you for fire bell to even to half the delay even further. Uh huh. The Brahma Gem. That's just solely for the Clowns Elias. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is just gonna be a fucking walk in the park. And then, Fee, of course, you've got. Uh, you've got your 100% evasion. But let's give you your CP first. Look how fast that heals it as well. There we go. 
Which one was that again? It was the Raven, wasn't it? It was Raven. There we go. Actually, Thor. Um, damn it, I didn't level up Thor. Cause I, yeah, it, Thor's um, level 4 is like a 10% evasion. So that's cool. Uh, but no, Raven's fine. And then Gaius, let's give you a Megalith as well. Just to make sure you're not left out. Da, 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 da. What did I have you on before? What did I have you on before? Orochi, that was it. Yup, you're just gonna be a big muscle boy. Wow, even Fee's got like... Fee has more st at strength than Gaius. What the shit? <coughs> But you know what? Randomly increases physical damage by 1.8. So, I'm fine with that. Uh, okay, so. Save the game one more time. Now that I'm ready. And without further ado, let's um, let's get stuck into it. Oh. Oh. Ex ex excuse me. Yup. Yup. Save. Okay. Right, let's get into it. May Adios be with you. And just a little speculation from me, but looking at their design, you should aim for their joints. Take them apart at their weakest points and you might have a chance. I see. Then let's pray our aim is true. I... I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but don't go doing anything crazy, you hear? Still... I know in my heart how much you want to protect this school. So do what you think you have to do. Not just for us, but so that whatever ends up happening, you'll know you gave the best you had to give. That's good. I'll be waiting here when you come back. <sighs> They'll be all right out there. All we can do now is believe in them. Yeah. Damn. 
sure didn't waste any time. It seems the battle's already underway. There. Toward the west exit. Let's move! Impossible! Are you even human? Oh, I'm as human as they come. Can't speak for the principal, though. Or Instructor Beatrix, for that matter. I'll say, our decorated veterans are putting the younger generation to shame. Now, now. There's no need to go around flattering old ladies, Nightheart. Ah, no need to be so modest, Beatrix. I don't know of any other old ladies who could reduce an armored car to a smoldering wreck that quickly? <laughs> Says the man who cut one in half. <laughs> Always nice to share a little outing with my wonderful colleagues. And while we're at it, since when were the two of you such whizzes with all those high-level arts? Especially you, Thomas. When did you leave the library long enough to become so disturbingly proficient with an Orville staff? <laughs> well, you know me. I've always been rather taken with the mages of the Middle Ages. They're monsters! Sir, we don't stand a chance against them! Oh, stop your whining! feel sorry for the soldiers. Um, just who is Instructor Beatrix? She was a colonel in the Imperial Army. They used to call her the Reviver. Heard she saved Sarah's life once, even. Yeah, she's kind of a legend. In her days with the Medical Corps, she'd show up in war zones to treat the critically injured. She'd patch them all up, friend or foe, and woe to anyone or anything who tried to stop her. Wow, no wonder she's so unflappable. You know, maybe they don't need our help after all. No, it's not over yet. Looks like they've got some reinforcements coming in. Cease your fire. There's no need to increase our casualties any further. If they're fielding monsters, we might as well call in our own. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> My, they've certainly brought quite a few of those. They're boasting some impressive armor. Looks like they've been designed with integrated arts resistance, too. Hmm. What to do, what to do? You think we can really beat all these things? Well, I don't see another way out of this, do you? We need to hold this location until the Imperial Army's reinforcements arrive, no matter what. <laughs> Time to see if the Army's finest up-and-coming officer has it where it counts. Same to you, Ms. A-Rank Bracer. My, my! You two really do make quite the dynamic duo. Shut, Shut up, up, Thomas! Thomas. All right. Palestine and Nightheart are taking point. Let's give them some cover. Yes, sir. Now, let's see which parts have that arch resistance shield. They certainly seem to be holding their own. Yeah, but look how many they're up against. And the enemy's still got strength to spare. But the instructors don't have anything to fall back on if the enemy gets the upper hand. Let's go. They need backup, and we're here to give it to them. Right. I'm not sure how much support we'll be able to provide them. At the very least, we should be able to keep one of those things busy. If we can give them that much more of a fighting chance, I'll do it. <laughs> that won't be necessary. What? Sharon? 
Allow me to handle things here. I'll be sure to give Lady Sarah and her colleagues the opening they need to clinch their victory. Huh? She's fast. I figured you'd show up sooner or later. Steel wires. These new model engines certainly are quite the step up. I'm impressed. Still, all the power in the world doesn't mean much if you're all tied up. The pleasure of being bound, vulnerable, and exposed is a thrill like no other. Would you care for a little demonstration? I'd say you won't feel a thing, but... That would be lying. So you finally dropped the act, huh? Looks like you've even picked up a few new tricks since our little dust-up two years ago. But I guess I wouldn't expect any less from Sharon Kruger, Ouroboros' enforcer number nine. Or should I just call you the Severing Chain? on leave from that position. Right now, I'm but a humble maid in the service of the Reinford family. And no matter who's pulling the strings, anyone who tries to harm Lady Elisa or her friends will have to get through me first. That's fine by me. But I think you and I need to sit down and have a nice long talk after all this is over. I'll bring the snacks. Oh, look at them go! Are you just going to stand there and let the ladies run laps around you, Major? Of course not. I was just about to say we should focus our assault on one and hit it with everything we've got. Boys will be boys. Oh my, I feel like a mere mortal walking among titans. Okay, I think I got these guys figured out. Gonna nullify their art shield capabilities. Some real fight in you. I can respect that. Still, there's only so much you can do against these soul dots. Let's see how long you can hold out, shall we? You're a military academy. Let's see how much fight you've really got in you. So, Elisa, just who the heck is Sherry? Don't ask me! I want to know just as much as the rest of you! I'm pretty sure my mother knows her background, but she never told me. Still, now they may have at least a chance of victory. Though not a great one by any stretch. Still, we've seen those suits demolish battle tanks in just a few hits. Every second we hesitate. You're right. If we joined the fight, their chances would be that much better. That sound faint, but I can hear it. No way. But, but that's coming from the opposite direction of the capital. Lammy! <laughs> We've got two of those armors coming in fast! A blue one and a green one! <laughs> well, they certainly don't seem to be holding back on our account. Are they trying to catch the town in a pincer attack? The instructors and Sharon have their work cut out for them with those five. Looks like we're the first and only line of defense then. Yeah. Get ready, everyone!
just as east exit in sight now. No hostiles visible. <laughs> I hear they've rounded up quite the posse to defend this little town. But I'm sure they've got their hands full dealing with Vulcan. Never mind that, though. We're not here for the town. C's instructions were to head straight for the academy and take all of the students captive. Roger that, Comrade S. <coughs> We've got a group of unknowns dead ahead. Hmm? My, my, what have we here? <laughs> and here I thought Vulcan would get all the fun to himself. But you didn't let me down, did you, Class 7? Commencing operation. Our objective is to defend Trista's east exit. Aim for the one in the front and give it everything you've got. That's it. It. <laughs> How cute. You seriously think you can beat a Soldats unit, do you? It just wouldn't be sporting of us to attack at the same time, so... Why don't you soften them up a little first? Roger that. With pleasure. You've interfered with our cause for far too long. It's time you got what's coming to you. Let's see how long you last against this dragon. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Okay. Leave it to me. Turn. Ha. My turn.
Okay. That was single-handedly the strongest attack we ever did. 80k, 80,000. Um, 80,000. Wow. What an absolute uh, beast move. Okay. I don't even care about the rest of it anymore. We did what we needed to. Now we're just Altair Cannon. Just the, the heavens have opened and it's fucking you up. And there we go. Boss done. So now we're good, right? Right? How can I lost a bunch of kids? We're good, right? They're only students. We we did it! Sorry guys, my controller's acting up. I don't, I can't, I can't. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. There we go, managed to go to start now. We're all good, we're okay. Sorry. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> I should have expected that C's classmates wouldn't go down easy. <laughs> I recognize that grating voice. Scarlet, you're in there, aren't you? Oh, did you miss me? I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to play it in mine. But I hope you haven't forgotten that I owe you for getting in my way at Gorelia Fortress. You managed to beat one soul Lance, but once is just luck. Let's see how you fare against a Spiegel. <gasps> that one's not like the others. It must be a command unit. So it has weapons the regular suits don't? Oh, believe me, you'll find out. Sadly, I doubt you'll survive the demonstration, but at least try to put up some token resistance. Bring it on! My turn! So this time around, we, we have to fight, we have to fight, we have to fight this guy. We ha we have to fight it. Spiegel, it's it's apparently a super. Um, I'll all right, nah, I'm just all right. Cards on the table. Um, we're not gonna win this fight. That's just how it is. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna fuck around. And yeah, we're just we're just gonna fuck around and uh, do some s crafts on it. Because why not? So let's start with the Calamity Hawk. And then a Silky Dance, then Lord Alberian, and then Azure Flame. Let's fuck him up. See, we are actually able to do a lot of damage to it, but. You'll see when you get when when Scarlet gets her move. Oh, Lord Alberian. Lord Al Alberian looks is the is my favorite S craft aesthetically in Cold Steel One because just look at it. Summoning up gigantic towers and fucking nuking the entire place. Rest in peace. It's that and it's um Seventh Rhapsody. It's just my favorite. It just looks so good. So so wow. Um 
Wow, Fee and Emma didn't really do much damage to it. I'm quite surprised at that, to be honest with you. As you please, on my let's see how far. Let's see how Reem fares. Oh, that's a lot better. Hey, reactor power. My turn. So now we can't do. Um. Now we can't physically attack it without it like cancelling it. Yeah. It will take zero damage. It'll block it. But arts are still good. You can still damage it with arts. <laughs> oh, no, it can't. No, we can't do that either. So yeah, now now we can just fuck around with it. Yeah. Run its run its course. Oh! Leave it to me. Oh, excuse me, I thought you were gonna I didn't oh, I didn't realize it bounced back. I didn't realize it reflected. Huh. Well that's interesting. My oh. turn. So yeah. The annoying thing okay. is with V and her high speed, she you have to do her a, a, yeah, she gets a few turns before um It's my turn to let you do anything else. Okay, so ran out of attacks, but then I bounced back to Emma. Oh fuck! Sorry, she died. Oh no, we all died. Game over. Alright, we're gonna have to try again. Damn it. Oh no, we actually just lost and the story progressed. What happens? It reflected all our attacks. That's cheating! And this, children, is what we call reactive armor. Think of it as a protective field that the pilot can activate at will. They originally designed it to defend against tank assaults, but as you can see, that's not its only use. <laughs> the 5th Division really outdid itself this time. Reen? Hey, what are you... You're not. It's the same as when he fought the Viscount. No, don't! Don't do it, Reen! Hmm. So this must be that power of yours that C mentioned. I wonder if it'll really give you the strength to take down this Spiegel. I go full force, it'll probably cost me my life. But if that's what it takes to keep them all safe, then that's the price I'll pay. Lean, stop! You don't have to do this! Dost thou desire the power? What? If thee and I are of one accord, a covenant can be made. Thou hast but to call out my name. One in whom dwells the flame, awaken her. This voice. It looks like all the conditions have finally been met. Celine, you can talk. Yes, yes, quite eloquently too, but that's not important right now. Right now, you need to stay focused. You should know his name already. You saw it deep within the realm of the Great Shadow. Uh. She's right. I remember the name. It feels so familiar. Like I've always known. Heed my call. Balamar, the Ashen Knight!
happening to him. He just stopped moving. Celine, what's going on? Shh, let him concentrate. What? Did did Celine just The cat is talking? What's he doing with that fancy light show? Well, whatever. It's not going to save their skins this time. Playtime's over, brats. Unless you have a death wish, I suggest you get the hell out of- What was that? Is the provincial army bombarding the town? Wait! No! Shit! Is that what C was talking about? Reen, how did you... Is this one of the great knights from the ancient legends? So the tales are true. You see before you one of the divine knights, incarnations of the great power. The Ashen Knight, Valimar. Ah, damn it! This wasn't in the plans. It shouldn't have been able to move yet. you accepted the Awakener's Covenant, all the fundamental knowledge was granted to you. But you've got a more pressing issue to deal with right now. And this Divine Knight doesn't have a weapon yet either! attack like a trained duelist. Like Reen would. Alright, I think I figured out the basics. Reen! Is he inside that thing making it move? <laughs> That's awesome! I recognize that stance. The eight leaves one blade styles on armed form. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? Huh. Looks like you might be able to handle this after all. The Eight Leaves One Blade School has a form we use if we're disarmed or have to fight without a weapon. And believe me, Master Ka Fai drilled it into me so thoroughly I could do it in my sleep. Sounds like you owe him a thank you next time you see him. Watch out! Here she comes! Let's see what we can do!
My Templar sword in time. I'd be the one still standing. This battle is over. There's no reason to keep fighting. Now get out of Trista and take the squad by the west exit with you. Green. <laughs> yeah! Fade it and don't come back! All right. This should be all the backup they need at the west exit and then some. Damn. Whoa, whoa, hold up just a sec. Aren't you forgetting something? That voice. Something's coming. Whoa. A blue knight? Then Valimar wasn't the only Divine Knight that was awoken. See? Am I ever glad to see you? The Azure Knight? So he was an Awakener all along. <sighs> I'll bet she's the one who guided him to it, too. Crow. Crow! Are you really in there? Sure am. Long time no see, Reen. Oh, well, not too long, I guess, seeing as we just had dinner together last night. But that all feels strangely distant now, you know? Another lifetime, almost. Why? Why are you doing this? Are you really the one who shot the Chancellor? And where did you even get that thing? It's thanks to the Imperial Liberation Front's planning that I wound up at the Academy in the first place. It was a nice spot to bide my time while we waited for our chance to take out the Chancellor. Gotta say, though, the whole school thing was a lot more fun than I expected. Almost makes me sad to leave it behind. But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbreast you've known all this time, he isn't real. He never was. Like hell he isn't! All the good times we had? Your friendship with Toa and Angelica and George? Do you seriously want me to believe that all of that was just a lie? That our hanging out, our field studies, even our concert meant nothing to you? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Oh no. Crow, why are you doing this? Reinford made that for the Soldats units. I know it's not the kind you're used to, but it's the best you're gonna get right now. So, what do you say we settle things once and for all? A double saber. Just like C used. Then there's no room left for doubt. Crow really is C. I take no joy in this. But we can't have that Ashen Knight of yours getting in the way later down the line. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to bust it up. Along with the Academy. As for you students in the staff, you'll be under our jurisdiction. So that's the plan if you win, huh? But what about if I win? <laughs> if you win, I'll pay up the interest I owe you on that 50 Mira. Hell, we could even trade places. I'll babble on about friendship and dreams, and you can have fun for once in your life. You've got yourself a deal. But I hope you know what you just signed up for. Because the Bank of Reen has the highest interest rate on the continent. And if we'll be trading places, 
Don't forget you'll have a mountain of work waiting for you back at the Academy. So one way or another, you'll be coming back with us, Crow. <laughs> you got some real stones. I'll give you that. But sure, I'll agree to those terms. This is bad. Their will to fight is causing an enormous outpouring of mana. <laughs> Let's do this. So I didn't actually make the comment before, but um, yeah, this Divine Battles, the the brand new concept, the brand new combat style being introduced in the game at literally the last minute. And a lot of, now we're taking on our friend Crow. Well, let's fuck him up, ladies and gents. And with that, we have finished, finished Trails of Cold Steel, ladies and gentlemen. We have fought the last fight. Oh, he did now it. let's enjoy this very emotional cutscene. Let's, let's enjoy this, shall we? Together. Thank goodness. That means... This can't be happening! <laughs> you... Really don't do anything halfway, do you? I thought I knew what you could do with your eight leaves training, but you're fighting on a whole nother level today. Good thing too, otherwise I'd never have stood a chance against you. Time to make good on our wager, Crow. You're coming back with us. You've been piloting a Divine Knight for one day. I've been using mine for three years. Did you think I wouldn't have a trump card to play? Uh -huh. Damn it! It's like I didn't even face him. Uh, my head! When a Divine Knight is damaged, the Awakener shares their pain. 
Just as I feared, it was too early. Or perhaps it may have been too late. No! No, no you, you don't! don't. to get away from here run while you still have the chance i can't i won't just leave you all here you can and you must heimdall's been occupied and it's only a matter of time before we've got a full-blown civil war in our hands they might have been caught off guard today but the imperial army's full of elite soldiers when the war starts it'll be long and bloody but it doesn't have to be like that you and the ashen knight could change things you could find a third way, like Prince Oliver was talking about. A way that doesn't bow to either faction. You can become the wind that changes the course of this conflict. You guys, I... No, I can't. You'll never make it against him by yourselves. Just run, please. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're in no position to be worrying about us. Once you've escaped, we'll go join the instructors. So don't worry. Take care of him for us. Okay, Celine? Easier said than done. Prolonging current battle poses a risk of sustaining irreparable damage. Immediate tactical retreat is advised. That voice! Are you Valimar? So, you've gathered enough power, have you? Well, we may have lost this battle. But at least we'll live to fight another day. All right, get us out of here. As far away in Erebonia as you can take us. Command acknowledged. Charting course. Wait, no! That's my call to make!
Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, so we managed to manage to end the story there. That concludes Trails of Cold Steel. So a lot happened in that in that section there. Where did we even start off with the stream? That was six and a half hours ago, Jesus. We um oh that's right we we were in the final um, old schoolhouse dungeon so we managed to do all that found Valimar sitting in the in the schoolhouse there what's the story where why was he doing there and then of course a shit ton happened Osborne got fucking shot Gorelia Fortress is just gone it's not even there anymore. Crow is C. He's been C this whole time. What? I mean, I already knew because like I've played this game multiple times, as you saw from my clear saves. <coughs> <coughs> and there, there's civil war between the nobles and the and the the imperial government. Lots happened. Lots happened. Lots of questions need to get asked as well. Because we don't know nothing. Where, where's Ring? Is he going to be okay? What about the rest of Class 7? How are they going to survive fighting off against Crow in that Ordeen? As your knight. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know anything. But I do know that we're going to find out all these questions and more next time. When we start playing through Trails of Cold Steel 2. That's right. We're going to play that. Maybe in a couple, maybe not tomorrow, but like maybe in like a couple days time. Because frankly, my eyes are just dead. I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah. That's going to be us for today. Did I actually save? 
Did I save? I totally did. It's fine. So, yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching the stream. Um, my one viewer, you know, you've been with me through to the end. Every step of the way, I've uh, you've been there. So, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Really appreciate that. Really, really thankful that you guys have done that. Um, yeah. I'll, um... I'll let you know when I start Cold Steel 2. And I hope you join me on the amazing journey. Actually, I think it's appropriate to end things on the title screen. For this amazing view that we never saw before. That panoramic shot of everyone there. There we go. Lots of emotions flying around. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks everyone for coming out. And, uh... I'll upload this onto YouTube as soon as I can. Yesterday's stream is already up on there, so if you missed out, go watch now. Um, but yeah. I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Okay. Um, bye.